Hello everyone, my name is Pastor Kevin and I wanted to offer you some words of encouragement today. Today is Monday and it is the, the day that Star Wars uh, fans love. Now I have uh, not watched Star Wars, so I don't know, but I heard that today is uh, Star Wars Lover's Day because it is May the 4th be with you. Just kidding, I know it's May 4th. Hey, you know what I discovered this weekend though? I discovered a, a part in Nehemiah that really spoke to me. And the reason it spoke to me is because for the past eight weeks, nine weeks that we've been dealing with this pandemic, uh, one of the things that we've always said is to be wise and to stay safe. And I know that there's this balancing act that takes place between fear and faith. And how does one simply have faith in the midst of fear? Well, in Nehemiah chapter 4, Nehemiah comes back to uh, Jerusalem and he's beginning to rebuild the wall that was destroyed by the Babylonians. Now, as he begins to uh, build the wall, those who are in opposition begin to, to rise up and they begin to say, hey, look, we are going to destroy the wall before you build it. And guess what? We're going to slip in and you're not even going to know we're here and uh, we will kill you. And so there's this moment where Nehemiah has to balance the, the faith that he has in God and the fear of what is going on because the people around him would desire to kill him and his fellow Jews. And I love what it says in uh, Nehemiah chapter 4, starting in verse 6. So we rebuilt the wall till all of it reached half its height, for the people worked with all their heart. But when Sanballat, Tobiah, the Arabs, the Ammonites, and the men of Ashdod heard that the repairs to Jerusalem's wall had gone ahead and that the gaps were being closed, they were very angry. They all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and stir up trouble against it. There's that moment where I think that Nehemiah and the Jews probably had some fear over the, the fact that these guys wanted to do um, physical harm to them. But here is Nehemiah's, Nehemiah's response. And I think it's a good word for us today. But we prayed to our God and we posted a guard day and night to meet this threat. They prayed and then they acted. They prayed to their God for protection, but they posted a guard day and night. You see, I think there's this balance that takes place between faith, by stepping out in faith, but also being wise enough to, to provide and protect yourself as God would want us to do. I think the same is true for us in this pandemic, my friends. For the past eight weeks, we've prayed and we've asked God to watch over us. But we've also tried to be wise and do things that would also protect us. Today, my friends, I hope that you will find time to pray and to be wise. Do what God is asking you to do. Will you pray with me this morning? Father, thank you for our time together. And thank you for the truth of Nehemiah, that he prayed and then he posted a guard day and night. Father, may we continue to seek you in prayer, and then, God, may you call us to action as well. For today we love you and we praise you and we worship you, Lord Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Be wise, stay safe, and we'll talk again soon.